Welcome back to the Way to Ageless YouTube channel, where we're committed to helping you achieve your fitness and wellness goals at any age. In today's video, we're diving into the world of running, a timeless exercise that offers a wealth of benefits. But for those of us on a journey to better health, we need to weigh the pros and cons, especially if we're carrying a few extra pounds. Running, a simple yet powerful form of exercise, has been a cornerstone of fitness routines for decades. It offers a range of health benefits that can lead to improved cardiovascular health, weight management, and mental well-being. However, for overweight individuals, the decision to start running requires careful consideration of both the pros and cons. In this video, we'll delve into the advantages and disadvantages of running, particularly focusing on long-distance running and short sprints, and provide insights into how overweight individuals can make informed choices to achieve their fitness goals. Let's talk about the pros of running. Cardiovascular health. Running is renowned for its ability to enhance cardiovascular fitness. Engaging in regular running routines strengthens the heart, improves blood circulation, and lowers the risk of heart disease. Weight management. Running is a highly effective calorie-burning exercise that aids in weight loss and weight maintenance. It helps create a calorie deficit, leading to the reduction of excess body fat. Mental well-being, running triggers the release of endorphins, commonly referred to as feel-good hormones, which can alleviate stress, anxiety, and depression. It promotes a positive mood and contributes to overall mental well-being. Bone health, running is a weight-bearing exercise that stimulates bone density, reducing the risk of osteoporosis and enhancing bone strength. Improved stamina and endurance. Regular running gradually improves stamina and endurance levels, making daily activities easier and more manageable. The cons of running, especially for overweight individuals. Joint impact. Running, particularly on hard surfaces, places significant stress on joints, especially the knees and ankles. Overweight individuals may experience amplified strain, potentially leading to joint pain or injuries. Injury risk. While running is a fantastic form of exercise, it carries a risk of overuse injuries, such as shin splints, stress fractures, and tendonitis. Overweight individuals may be more susceptible to these injuries due to the additional stress on their bodies. Overexertion. Running can quickly lead to overexertion, especially for beginners who push themselves too hard. Overweight individuals need to be cautious not to overdo it, as this can lead to burnout or even health complications. When it comes to running, there's more than one way to hit the pavement. Long-distance running and short sprints offer unique advantages and considerations, making it essential for overweight individuals to understand the nuances of each approach before deciding which path to take on their fitness journey. However, for overweight individuals, the decision to start running requires careful consideration of both the pros and cons. So, let's break it down step by step. Step 1, always consult a healthcare professional before starting any new exercise program. They'll help tailor your plan to your unique needs and ensure you're good to go. Step 2, begin with walking. If running is new to you, it's okay. Start by incorporating brisk walks into your routine. Walking helps prepare your body for more intense activity. Now, let's talk about the two main ways to run, long distance running and short sprints. Each has its advantages and considerations. Long distance running is great for building endurance and burning calories over extended periods. It's like a steady, satisfying journey to better health. But beware, it can put more stress on your joints, which is something we need to watch out for. On the other hand, short sprints offer explosive power and a time-efficient workout. They're kindred to your joints, making them an excellent option if you're concerned about impact. But before you lace up those running shoes, let's talk about how to start your running journey the right way. 
First, make sure you have proper footwear. Good shoes can make a world of difference in protecting your joints. And always, always warm up before your run, it's essential to prevent injuries. After your run, don't forget to cool down and stretch. This helps your muscles recover and improves your flexibility. And of course, proper hydration and nutrition are key. Fuel your body with the right foods and stay hydrated to ensure you're performing at your best. Remember, progress is a journey, not a race. Start with walking, ease into running intervals, and gradually increase your intensity as your fitness improves. So there you have it, the pros and cons of running, especially for those of us who are on a quest for better health. Remember, the key is to listen to your body, take it one step at a time, and always prioritize your well-being. Thanks for joining me today on Way to Ageless. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more fitness and wellness tips. Until next time, keep moving, keep smiling, and keep embracing your ageless journey.